Dave here. I'm with Dr. Roxanne Rogers from SAT7. How did SAT7 start? SAT7 is now 16 years old. Uh, it was founded in the Middle East. A fellow named Terry Ascott was one of the principal founders. He's actually still the CEO, the international CEO. SAT7 is based in Cyprus, a little island there just south of Turkey. And uh, we've been there for that entire time. And we broadcast throughout the entire Middle East. Uh, we talk about being uh, f in the Middle East, for Middle Easterners, by Middle Easterners. So 80% of what's broadcast is produced in the Middle East. And then we think about the fact that we've got international staff uh, from all over the Middle East who are the videographers and actors and producers. It really is a cultural connection. Why is satellite television important in the Middle East? Well, uh, television in the Middle East, if you can believe it, is probably even more powerful and a more significant cultural influencer than even the United States. And the reason is you've got 50 plus percent illiteracy rates through most of the countries, higher in rural areas, higher among women. And because of that, uh, audio-visual kind of presentation, of course, is the most important means of communication and entertainment. Uh, a television is a must-have appliance, our founder Terry Escott calls it. Uh, once you get it, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, it's also relatively inexpensive to get a satellite hookup. And once you get that satellite hookup, it's free to air. They don't pay a monthly fee like most of us do oh. for our cable or our dish connections. Um, it's just free. They can get 600 Arabic language channels, literally, as soon as they hook up and SAT7 is among them. Uh, in uh, Iran, it's something like, I've been told, 150 to 200 channels. Again, SAT7 PARS, our channel is among them. And in Turkey, it's something like 300 Turkish language channels and our SAT-7 Turk is beginning to make inroads there. How is SAT-7 unique from other ministries in the Middle East? Well, we've developed a model that we think is distinctive in the sense that, uh, number one, we don't attack other religions. We never mention other religions on the air. Uh, the reason being is we want people to watch, and we simply present the positive claims of Christ and Christianity, and that's a wonderful enough story in itself that it brings people back. Uh, we don't ask for money on the air. There's nothing wrong with that, but we don't do that because, again, we want people to watch. We're not political. We're not partisan. We never got on the air during any of the turmoil of the last year and a half and said, throw the rascal out by name. We do talk about principles of freedom of worship, uh, respect for life and property, those kinds of Christian values, but we're not political or partisan in any way. And again, we simply try to reach out and encourage the church build the Church of Christ in the Middle East and North Africa.